Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Wangen, the founder and medical director of the IBS Treatment Center. Today, I want to talk about a very unique and often overlooked issue in digestive health called pseudomonas overgrowth in the gut. When most people think about gut infections or bacterial imbalances, they might think about candida or parasites or maybe more familiar bacteria such as E. coli or Clostridium difficile. But pseudomonas is different than all of those things. And when this bacteria grows in your digestive system, it can cause a wide variety of gut symptoms and be extremely difficult to treat. Now, what is Pseudomonas? Pseudomonas is a type of bacteria commonly found in water and in soil. And one species, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, is especially known in medicine because it can cause serious infections in hospitalized patients. And it's considered an opportunistic pathogen, meaning it's a bad guy that tends to create problems when the body is vulnerable. But Pseudomonas doesn't just appear in hospitals. I have seen it colonize the gastrointestinal tract in regular healthy people who haven't been in the hospital. And this leads to a pseudomonas gut infection or what we might call a pseudomonas overgrowth. And this can trigger digestive issues that are very often misdiagnosed. Now, what are the symptoms of a pseudomonas overgrowth in the gut? Now, the symptoms of a pseudomonas GI overgrowth overlap with many other digestive problems, which is why it's often misdiagnosed. Now, people may experience things like chronic bloating or excessive gas or abdominal pain, cramping or discomfort or diarrhea or loose stools or constipation, often alternating with diarrhea or persistent gut irritation and inflammation or food sensitivities and difficulty digesting carbohydrates and other foods as well and systemic effects like fatigue and brain fog due to this chronic gut imbalance. And these symptoms can look identical to IBS or to SIBO or to candida overgrowth and many other things as well. And this makes an accurate diagnosis essential. Now, why is pseudomonas difficult to treat? Now, the real challenge with pseudomonas gut overgrowth is that this bacteria is highly resistant to antibiotics. And in fact, Pseudomonas aeruginosa is well known in the medical community for its antibiotic resistance. And it can also produce a biofilm, which is a protective layer that shields it from both the immune system and many types of treatments. And this means that standard antibiotics that you may have taken that work for other bacterial infections often will not work for pseudomonas. And in some cases, antibiotics even make things worse because they can kill off competing good bacteria and that can allow pseudomonas to thrive even more. Now, even herbal antimicrobials, which I generally like and use a lot, and they're often very effective for gut infections, may not be strong enough or the right thing against pseudomonas. And this is why patients can struggle with persistent digestive symptoms for years, despite trying multiple treatments. So the, here's the unique problem with pseudomonas, is that it's such a difficult gut problem because of these three factors. One, it often goes undiagnosed. Standard stool tests that doctors general, generally run don't usually identify pseudomonas and many doctors aren't looking for it. So that's, that's the first problem. Number two, it mimics other conditions. So the symptoms overlap with lots of other things, like we were saying, like SIBO and candida and IBS, and that can lead patients down the wrong treatment paths. And number three, even when you do find it, it's highly resistant to so many treatments. So the pseudomonas treatment requires very specific targeted approaches and sometimes a lot of experimentation and retesting to get done right. And this combination of issues makes pseudomonas one of the most stubborn causes of digestive symptoms. Now, 
What's the treatment for a pseudomonas gut infection? Well, successfully addressing pseudomonas usually requires several things. Accurate testing to confirm that that's what it is, that it's there in the gut. Then it requires a lot of real customization with the treatment plan that can vary from patient to patient. So we might use prescription medications. We might need to use a combination of things. We might need to use them even in conjunction with various natural agents. And we've always got to tailor this to the patient and everything else that's also going on in their gut microbiome. So it's not easy to answer this question. And we need to do gut microbiome support after treatment and help the beneficial bacteria reestablish to prevent pseudomonas from returning. So because pseudomonas is resistant and complex, though a one size fits all treatment rarely works. Even in the hospital setting, there are lots and lots of challenges with treating pseudomonas. So individualized care is the key, but we see it a lot and we've done a lot and have a lot of good success with it, but I can't say that it's easy either. You can just do one thing. So here are my final thoughts on pseudomonas overgrowth. It's, it may not be the most common gut infection, but when it does occur, it is one of the most persistent and difficult to resolve. And if you've been struggling with chronic digestive symptoms, despite multiple treatments, trying lots of things, be sure to find out if pseudomonas is the hidden culprit. At the IBIS Treatment Center, we test every one of our patients for pseudomonas, as well as over 100 other different kinds of organisms. And we've seen patients who spent years treating things like candida or SIBO only to find out that pseudomonas was the true problem. And once properly diagnosed and treated, their digestive health finally improved. And if you've been frustrated by ongoing bloating or diarrhea or abdominal pain or food sensitivities, don't give up because there is an answer, and the answer, however, might be deeper than you realize, and pseudomonas might just be that missing piece. And if you need more help solving your digestive problems, contact us at the IBS Treatment Center at the link below. We've been working with patients around the world for over 20 years via telemedicine, and we'd be happy to work with you too. And if you found this video valuable, please give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel for more insight into your digestive health. And remember, take good care of your body. It's the only place that you have to live. Thank you for watching. We create informative videos like this weekly. So if you enjoyed it, please help our channel by sharing a screenshot or the link to the video on Facebook or Instagram or your favorite social media. And be sure to tag me wherever you post and let me know what you liked about the video and what topics you'd like me to discuss in the future. If you visit our website at ibsstreamingcenter.com, we're currently offering a free ebook on how to beat IBS, so be sure to check that out. It's time to take control of your digestive problems and get your life back. I'd also appreciate it if you could subscribe to our channel here, like this video, and leave a comment or question below. I'll do my best to read and respond to all of them. Thank you, and until next time. Ah, the video wasn't even on. The camera. Dang it. All right. I think maybe I need to stop and then do the other ones because it's cutting out on us. So I'm going to stop it and start it.